Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. The topic that we are going to cover in this video is security goals. In today's world, information is money and we need to secure our money from the modern world robbers that are cyber criminals. To secure our information, there are some standard security goals that need to be satisfied. Let's have a look at these security goals in this video. So let's get started. So there are three standard security goals in the world of cryptography. They are confidentiality, integrity and availability. Let's understand each of this properly. Starting with confidentiality, let's have a look at its definition first. So confidentiality refers to the protection of a confidential data from unauthorized access. So confidentiality is the protection of a confidential data. So your confidential data is any information that is not intended for general public. This data can be any company's trade secrets, any sensitive data or any data that is intended for only some authorized individuals or groups. So this confidential data needs to be protected from unauthorized access. Unauthorized entities can be any general public that doesn't have the authority to access it or any cyber criminal trying to steal the data. So confidentiality is required everywhere. Let's have a look at some of the use cases. Organization Organizations need to protect their business critical information and trade secrets as these are the differentiators that makes business for them. Military In military, concealment of sensitive information is a major concern since national security is at stake. Banking Banks need to keep their customer information confidential as it is sensitive and someone can easily misuse it and etc. Now let's go to the second security goal that is integrity. Let's start with the definition. So integrity implies that changes need to be done only by authorized entities and through authorized mechanisms. So let's call out some graphics to understand it better. So integrity implies that changes need to be done by authorized entities and through authorized mechanisms. Authorized entities are a group of individuals that have the authority to change the data. Examples of authorized entities can be CXOs of company, senior management team, senior developer team, etc. Even if they have the authority, they must follow an authorized mechanisms to perform the changes. For example, to confirm any changes in an organization, the CEO must have a proper meeting with all the stakeholders of the company and only after the approval of the majority of the stakeholders, the changes are made final. And the last security goal is availability. Let's go to the definition first. So availability means ensuring timely and reliable access to information to authorized users. So availability means timely and reliable access to information to authorized users. Information is useless if it is not available on time. Hence information must have timely and reliable access and this access should only be for authorized users. Unavailability of information is just as harmful for an organization as the lack of confidentiality and integrity. Because not having the information on time is the same as not storing the information in the first place. With this, we have completed the security goals. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubt, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.